tell me about your morning ritual, your evening ritual and any other daily habits that lends to your success. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, my first thing is, you know, I, I don't get up as early, but you know, when I get up, you know, I have a little, what I call is a get ready time. It's just, you know, I, I guess you could say a little, you know, spiritual, you know, 20 minutes as I'm 30 minutes as I'm getting dressed. And then I try to move for 50 minutes. I mean, back in the day, I'd work out hard, you know, whether it's, you know, some aerobics and, and, you know, after that, um, or it'll be a run, but I don't really ever run more than like three miles. And then I, I, I try to meditate after that and get clear on what my, my, uh, outcomes are for the day. Right. And it's always related to what I want, you know, five or 10 years down the road, because you have to block that, that, that zone action time each day to get where you want to be five years down the road and you have to get real clear on it. So each day I have this, uh, best self code journal where I start off by writing three, you know, three things that I'm grateful for, like, you know, my magic hands are one, you know, like I'm, my chops are getting good there, bro. You got to see my work. And, um, and, and then, you know, grateful for my parents that are still alive. And, and then I, you know, I write like three things that I, that I, you know, are going to shoot for. And then I break it down into like some bullets and then what would make the great day. And I measure every day, Jay, I measure on a personal side and on the business side. And it's, it's what I call as a quality quantifier. It's, it's, it's a fun thing, right? So I go kind of a scale from one to 10, you know, how did I do on my personal life? You know, if I, you know, kicked the dog and yelled at my wife, you know, maybe it's a seven, you know, um, you know, and, and, you know, and then I go, what could have made it an eight or what could have made it a nine? What could have made it a 10? And I do the same thing on the business side. And for years and years and years, I had someone hold me accountable with a quick call early in the morning. It's kind of ingrained in my head. And then I do one last measurement at the end of the day, I kind of look at what I had planned versus what I, I, I have done. And I do that very quick. And I started going to bed a little earlier than where I used to burn the candle on both ends. And I bought this sleep ring to kind of, you know, get a good night's sleep. And, and I just, I'll tell you at 60 years old, Jay, I feel better than ever. You know, I'm just, I, I'm full of energy. You know, my wife says no mas <laughs> and uh, you know, it's all good. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, now what are you passionate about now? What projects are yeah. you working on? Uh, what, what's on the horizon oh, for Ken Van Lu? Oh, baby. I'm surprised you didn't hear the news. So we just hit the front page of the Franklin Times as the largest project in Franklin County history, North Carolina. Um, it, it passed the first stage. It is uh, over uh, 225 units. We have 125 townhomes. 108 flats on top of retail. We have a main street with a new firehouse going in, all kinds of really nice retail. We're going to get all the big boys in there, Chick-fil-A, Panera, Bakery. I have a 127,000 square foot self-storage, flex office. I got a hotel on the corner, wellness center, medical office buildings. We are killing it. I have over a thousand unit plan down in Lewisburg downtown. Um, I just got uh, Chester, New Jersey approved CVS, affordable housing, market rate housing. I just got another site next to Trump National and Bedminster. Over 100 units. We're flipping it to DR Horton, 4.5 million to 12 million. And that's what I'm excited for. I'm most passionate about my daughter, my son getting married on July 4th. He just um, he's he is a now not only an intelligence officer, but a reconnaissance officer for the U.S. Marines. My daughter married a doctor. She graduated number one, works for NYU teaching culinary medicine. And my youngest daughter just bought her first house at 24 in Connecticut. And that's what I'm passionate. And this month, June 10th, we're going to record my organization is going to really just send out the message to the world on what the keys to investing are. And uh, we're real, real excited about that. Man, have you got it going on.